The Dutchman had jumped to the adjacent balcony. Victor did the same, stepping onto the stone railing and covering the distance by the time Cooey had reached the next balcony along. Victor hurried after his target, who had run out of balconies, but who climbed up onto the stone railing and jumped. He landed on the roof of the neighboring building and rolled to disperse the impact of the two-meter drop. Victor rolled seconds later, and Cooey glanced back over his shoulder, face shining with sweat, to make brief eye contact with his relentless, tireless pursuer. The next flat roof was only a short jump away, but Cooey stumbled as he landed and slowed his run to keep his balance. An exterior stone staircase descended from the far side of the roof, and Cooey hurried down it, Victor now close enough to hear the Dutchman's urgent breaths. The stairs led down to a small square, at the center of which was an ornate tiled fountain where residents collected drinking water. Cooey grabbed a boy holding a bucket in each hand and heaved him backward into Victor's path. Victor dodged the boy, but not the bucket spilling water. He slipped but stayed on his feet, losing a second on Cooey, who vaulted over a small wall and down to a neighboring alleyway. Victor followed, absorbing the drop with bending knees and caught a glimpse of Cooey as he rounded a corner ahead. Victor took the same corner moments later and sprinted down the adjoining alley, jumping over baskets knocked over by Cooey, past a small hovel with a red door, out onto a side street. He looked left, saw a long street Cooey hadn't had the time to run the length of, almost no people, no restaurants or businesses, no way to veer off. Victor looked right, a dead end. Cooey could have gone neither way. Victor's memory flashed back. The red door. No splinters of wood near the lock or hinges from a kick, but it was still ajar, having been already open. He spun around and saw... Cooey, charging from the doorway, the glint of metal from a blade in his hand, meant for Victor's back, but now thrusting at his heart.